I've got another driver head-to-head -head comparison for you in this video and I've got the Callaway Rogue Sub-Zero driver and I'm going to put it up against the brand new Epic Flash Sub-Zero. So two of the Meteor low spinning uh, drivers from uh, Callaway from the Rogue and the Epic Flash. I'm going to see maybe is the new computer uh, design club face in that flash face giving us much more ball speed than we saw in the Rogue. Okay, so just before we jump into the video, if you're enjoying the content I'm putting out there and you haven't subscribed, then please consider doing so. Hit that logo MNG in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, ring that bell and get notifications of any future videos. Also follow up on my uh, social media platforms, both Instagram and Twitter, and the handles there are at MNGolfCoach. Okay, so we've seen a big launch for, with Callaway with regards to Epic Flash and a computer designed club face, which has uh, created 15,000 prototypes to get to where they have with flash face, a brand new technology. So obviously the talk of 2019 is all about speed and ball speed off this club face. So really just to see how that Sub-Zero in the Epic Flash stands up to the Rogue Sub-Zero. Sub Sub Both got jailbreak technology, which for me, we saw a little bit of gain of ball speed when jailbreak first came out in the original uh, Epic. Um, and I've had some great numbers in the past with Rogue Sub-Zero as well as the original Epic Sub-Zero. So I've got the Rogue here, Sub-Zero, as, as I say, I've got the heavy weight in the front section, so that 14 gram weight in the front, so that helps to keep my spin down. And I would say set up in its sort of ultimate sort of fiery mode in a way, you know, that low spin, that extra sort of ball speed coming off that club face. Um, obviously the Epic Flash, we've got a weight in the front, we've also got a weight in the back now, which we don't have, uh, or a movable weight, we've got a weight in the back in the, in the Rogue here, but it's not a movable weight, so, and it's a little bit heavier in the Epic Flash. So it's not exactly the same, but I've got that set up as fiery as I can get it set up um, to, to give a comparison between these two clubs. So I'm gonna start off with the Rogue, and then we'll hit some shots and then we'll move into the epic flash. Yeah, that is a very penetrating ball flight. Feels superb. I do like Rogue. As I say, I've used that a little bit in the past. Well, that was a good opening tee shot there. 315. Very nice. Um, so I have used that in the past and I've had a lot of enjoyment using that and I feel like I can get some extra yards through this setup. I've got this in a 10 si um, blue which is 60 gram in an X flex um, so a little bit more suited to my sort of swing speed and try, what I'm trying to do with a spin number okay just fell off that one a little bit backwards cut that low in the face See, that's pulling off a lot of distance I haven't said that it's still 298 so it's quite healthy there uh, but I know that spin number's going to creep up, yeah, so 2,800 spin there where the first one was around that sort of 2,000 mark. And there's that difference between that 315 and maybe that 300 sort of yard drive. So 15 yards give up there really through strike alone. Right, so I'm going to hit one more with the Rogue before we move into the Flash. Been some good hits up to now, let's see if we can finish on a good one. Yeah, it's a lovely flight. Very sort of neutral on its flight. That feels great, I mean I am a big fan of the Rogue, like I said earlier. That's a big hit, that's a 325. 167 ball, that's the best hit I've uh, hit out of that batch there. So as I say, those I always felt are potentially in there with this Sub-Zero, with that weight forward. I love the sound that the row give, it's that very muted, dull sort of sound, um, which some people may resemble as being a bit of a dead sound. I quite like it, I've also got that composite um, carbon sort of mix with the titanium there, which and the acoustics is very um, sort of dull and muted, which I quite like. Okay, switch the heads over, we're going to keep the same shaft, we've got this at 9 degree, we're going to keep the epic flash at 9 degree in the Sub-Zero, um, and we'll see how that stacks up against the Rogue. Right, okay, so we've now got the epic flash Sub-Zero head on the same shaft we just had in the Rogue, 9 degree, got a neutral neck setting as per we had in the Rogue. And straight away, difference of the shape of the head is noticeable when I put this down by the golf ball. I much prefer the shaping of the flash. It's just a bit more of a rounder sort of shape. It's not quite, I think the Epic 
uh, sorry, the, the Rogue looks a little bit more longer from front to back. It's like stretched out a little bit more. Definitely a nicer sort of shaping there. It doesn't look as much of stretched out. I quite like that little sort of line that sits about an inch and a half from the, from, from, from the face. That sort of just gives you quite a nice alignment aid, I feel. Um, again, we've got that carbon, titanium sort of mix, but obviously the big talking point here is the flash face and this supercomputer. Let's get this first one hit. I think that T-Peg just hit the camera there. Sorry, apologies for that. Uh, that was a nice neutral opening shot and a pretty long one as well. So that's trundling over that 300 yard mark and getting to 312 and nice and accurate with that particular shot. So nice start from the flash. Yeah, the, the, big, the big difference there is the sound. And I mentioned this on my review video. The sound is quite loud. It's a lot more of an explosive sound, a very different sound to that muted, um, sort of duller, um, sort of deader sound that we saw in the original Epic and also in the Rogue. So I think I prefer the sound of the Rogue if, for me personally. I've heard a lot of guys online of saying the love in the sound of the Flash. Again, I think it's a personal thing. My, my feeling is I prefer the, that more muted, duller sort of crap to be fair. Nice. A little bit of a higher ball flight I'm seeing there with the, the flash, but definitely the sound is the big change. Um, and I think the feel, I don't, I much prefer the feel of the Rogue, to be honest. I think it'll, uh, we know the sound relates to a lot of, of feel, don't we? But just felt a bit more comfortable with Rogue than, than flash. But let's go look at those numbers a little bit more detail and see if there is any sort of difference of that ball speed off the club face. Okay, so looking at some numbers there. So just a fraction slower club speed with flash against the Rogue. We've got uh, ball speed a touch slower, probably in relation to that club head speed there. Um, so efficiency wise, a little bit better with the Rogue against the Flash. Launching pretty similar there and spin number pretty similar at 2100. So good spin numbers for me, which is where I open up those longer sort of shots there. So averaging uh, 314 against 314, 285, 285 carry, peak height 27, 28, and descent angle 32, 33. So very, very similar numbers between those two clubs. Right, okay guys, there we go. So there's Rogue against Epic Flash Sub-Zero. Two Sub-Zero models. As I said, I bagged Rogue in the past, and I do enjoy hitting that. Um, Epic Flash, I like it. It's, the sound is just a little bit too loud and I just feel more comfortable with the Rogue to be honest. I think it's maybe because of my past with it. I've, I've had it in the bag before so I do sort of like it. I like that muted sound. I just feel like I've got a little bit more control over that against the uh, Flash. Again I could do that that comparison again and one that the, you know the Flash could just pip it, the Rogue could then pip it. I think it's just really really close between those two clubs to be honest. So you know supercomputer Flash face, I'm not sort of seeing it in that particular test. Jailbreak I like and I get and I've seen that through fittings when it first introduced in the original Epic. We saw some, you know, one, two, three mile an hour ball gains, uh, ball speed gains for customers through our fitting sessions. So I, I, I believe in jailbreak. I'm, 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 a, I'm back in that. Flash face, I don't know. I'm not seeing it in that test between those two clubs. So I think for me, if I was going to choose, I'd probably still go rogue through that sound. Even though I like the looks of the flash and the numbers are decent, I just like that feel and the, and the sound of the rogue. And I just feel like I've got a little bit more control. And that's my emotions there. That's what I'm feeling, which gives me a little bit of that confidence. You know, if I'm on that tee and I've got that tight fairway, you know, I, I feel like I hit it a little bit better with the, with the, with the rogue, maybe against the, uh, the epic flash there. I don't know, that's just my sort of thoughts really. So, you know, flash at what price it's at, Rogue realigning the price down a little bit. Obviously this Rogue is still in the range, but it's gonna fizzle out, I'm guessing, sort of throughout uh, 2019. Um, but value for money, I think the Rogue's are great. still a very, very good driver. So let me know your thoughts. I'd obviously love to hear your thoughts as always. Post comments down below between those two clubs. Um, as I say, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you haven't subscribed, then please consider doing so and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, follow my social media platforms, both Instagram and Twitter, at MNGolfCoach, and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.